Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. Early in the year, I was lucky to find one of these frames, a 2021 Yeti Arc. It took me quite a while to find all the parts to build it up, but now I finally have it. So here is my custom build 2021 Yeti Arc. For those of you that know Yeti, you know that they usually have a lunch ride model. Well, it doesn't exist with Yeti Arc, but I built one myself. That is because I built my bike with a 140 millimeter fork instead of the 130 that they usually spec. And that gives me about a 66 and a half head angle and probably about 75 and a half or 75 degrees C tube angle, which is still quite aggressive for a hardtail and definitely modern by today's standards. And the fork that I picked is a Fox 34 Rhythm with the Fit Grip damper. Now, this is usually an OEM fork that you can't really buy a retail, but it's a very, very good fork. The only downside to this being the weight, this fork comes up to about 1900 grams in this 140 millimeter version. This fork doesn't give you fancy dials, but it does allow you to adjust the damper from fully open to firm. And obviously you have a proper rebound here at the bottom of that leg. And I mentioned the weight of the fork because the frame, they only exist in this Turk or the lighter version of their carbon. And this bike can be built as a fairly light cross country rig if you want to. That wasn't my focus on this build as you can see from the components that I've chosen. Yes, I do have a fancy Yeti top cap even though I built this from scratch so it didn't come from them. But I built this with a 35 mil carbon bar. This is 760, that's what I use for cross country. I use this with a race face 50 millimeter stem and the headset is just a King Creek 40 series. I use this on almost all my bikes because it's good and relatively cheap. What you're gonna see here is the new XT brakes. You know that from the two contact points here with the handlebar. I have some fancy Ergon uh, grips, which I kind of like. You have a bike yoke remote, and yes, that is connected to a bike yoke dropper post. That is 185. I should have a video about this uh, rather soon on my channel. This is a WTB SL8. It's a bit narrow, but this is very light, about 180 grams. And if you're looking at my shifting here, it is Shimano, it is bar clamped, not integrated, and this is a cheaper SLX. Now, you know everything about Shimano 12-speed shifters from my channel, and I can tell you that I kind of like the SLX because it feels closer to SRAM than the others. To go along with those XT8100 levers, I have a two-piston caliper, so 8100 in the rear, 160 millimeter, this is an XT disc, RT86, but up front I've installed the four piston caliper. So this is the 8120 with a 180 disc. And since we're looking at my wheels, those are Hope 4 hubs, really good. And if you like loudness, these are pretty loud as well. And the rims that I have here are the good old Arch MK3s. So that is 26 millimeter ID. The new version of these are all asymmetrical. So there is a reason why these are actually the only wheels in my house that are not using asymmetrical rims. And that kind of zoomed into my drivetrain and you're gonna see here a PF92 bottom bracket and I have an XDR bottom bracket on this. SLX cranks that are 170 five millimeter long this bike requires a 55 millimeter chain line and uh, check my video on all the details about chain lines this crank together with the absolute black 32 oval it's only 15 grams heavier than a fancier SRAM carbon crank so good reason to consider these and I did go for the XT8100 again that I've reviewed on my channel to go along with this, I have an XDR chain paired with the SLX cassette. I don't like the weight of this cassette being over 500 grams, about 520. However, this is a hardtail, so it's not gonna affect the suspension performance, obviously. Yes, I did choose an SLX 
derailleur which works very well it did have the issue with the dry clutch so check my video on how to keep this in tip-top condition and that is my shimano tool speed drivetrain that actually works very well with the frame protection that you see over here this bike is actually very quiet if not one of the quietest that i've ever had in this configuration again with pedals and the bottle cage my arc weights 11 and a half kilograms or about 25.5 pounds it's not that light but again i didn't aim for that the wheels are kind of heavy i have a recon race at the back 235 up front i have a recon 2.4 they're not the lightest tires by any means I built this to be more of a trail bike that is fun. From the moment I jumped onto this bike, all I could think of was efficiency. You are in a good pedaling position. That slacker head angle allows you to be rowdier on the downhills. So if you're thinking about a good hardtail in 2021 and Yeti Arc made it to your list, all I could say is, what are you waiting for? Hop on and let's go for a ride. Cheers guys, cheers.